For this part of the project, I added an accelerometer to the circuit so that I can use physical in movements as an input. For instance, if I tilt the controller in any given direction, the computer will respond. Uh, this, this part of the project also marks when I first started soldering, mainly when I added the metal wires to the accelerometer itself. At this point, I haven't run into any particular challenges. Um, the next steps that I'm thinking about taking are adding an IR sensor into the equipment. Here's my current circuit that I'm using. Uh, on the right hand side as you're viewing it is the original that I had previously and on the left hand side is just for the accelerometer. Uh, you can see that there is this yellow and red wire. These connect to the positive and negative rails respectively in order to provide 5 volts and ground for this accelerometer. There are two wires here, these dark colored wires and those connect to digital pins 2 and 3 which correspond to the SDA pin and the SCL pin on the accelerometer specific inputs. Uh, you can see that I have some wire stretching along that's just to make sure that they're connected rather than putting the jumper wires, jumper wires directly on that space. Uh, and finally we just have this LED here and it's more or less a simple LED circuit this green wire is actually from an output pin uh, from I believe digital pin 10 and so that's initialized as an output source of uh, for voltage uh, it goes to a resistor which ends up touching the positive end of the LED then on the negative end of the LED I have this brown wire connected to go back to ground and I'll show it here if I shake the accelerometer, the light will go on. So here, let me try it again. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, when I dive more into the code, you'll notice why the LED. This is the bulk of the code that I'm using for my accelerometer values. Starting with the function keyboard motion, I have two variables, a.acceleration.x and a.acceleration.y. Both of these are values that are being returned, telling me how what values the accelerometer is sensing for any given direction that I am moving it. So, in other words, if I am suddenly jerk the controller forward, that would count as a acceleration dot x. So naturally, I would see that value is increasing. So for that particular example, as you can see, uh, the keyboard should press the W key, and once this acceleration is no longer uh, present. Uh, it will release the W key. It's more or less the same principle for mouse motion. Uh, I used, I just inverted the order in which these accelerometer values are taken. So instead, uh, they correspond to the way your mouse moves. So if I move the controller left, it should move my mouse left, as you actually saw right there. Really briefly, I want to show what the LED is doing. On the circuit, you can see that the LED is off, and when that's the case, that means that currently I am in mouse mode. And when you go back to the screen, you can see that wherever my cursor is, that is following the way in which I am moving the entire breadboard. And if I jerk it up, you can see that the LED is now active and if I go to the search bar here I can tilt forward and that'll input W, A, S, and D. 